your mods the band here and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 2 Mortal Empires in part 15. My Heinrich Kemmler campaign where we're currently being attacked by Karl. Bloody Karl, he's always... Oh, what, a, what a jerk. There he is leading his forces, lots of halberdiers, he's got some crossbowmen, some handgunners, lots of Reichsguard, I bloody hate Reichsguard. However... That lot are off chasing my, my Vire guys, which is fine, because we've got a unit of handgunners and a Hellblaster volley gun currently moving up, because the only thing they can see is my Mortis engine, or Dad's rad disco cart. That's probably because it's so rad, it can't hide in trees. That's the problem when you have a rad cart. Can't hide in a forest. However, that does mean that only a couple of units are actually moving over here. Now, they are going to start opening fire, but... As Carl's army chases the Vargeists over into the corner here, it means we can use some of our cavalry to charge out and take them take them out. Just quickly, just nip that in the bud, and then that's not a problem for us. So the Gloom Horse Lord, not the Glue Horse Lords, the Gloom. Don't pronounce my M's enough. Gloom. 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 Gloom, yeah, those guys, they're heading out, they're now charging directly towards the Hellblaster Volley Gun. Generally not the thing you want to do is charge directly at a Hellblaster volley gun. Towards the side of it is, is usually better, but it is kind of down a little hill here, so it's not going to get any shots off. Come tearing down. There we go. Knocking them flying. Good stuff. That's it. Chop them to pieces, lads. However, we do have some handgunners who look like they're lining up some shots. We're going to charge them just to make sure they can't get those shots off. There we go. Send them flying. As the Hellblaster Volley crew decide to run away. And we're going to chop these guys up. However. Looks like Volkmar the Grim is coming to help. Now Volkmar obviously has magical attacks. So although he's not a, a real melee lord. He can do a lot of damage to our Gloom Horse Lords. Because he will ignore all their physical resistance. down these handgunners so that's going to reduce their units even more which is good because anything we can do to just whittle them down a little bit is only going to be good because they've got a big army and my army's taking some damage so while the gloom horse lords are doing that the vargeists have given the armies the slip they're now heading up to deal with the hell blaster uh what is it the hellstorm rocket battery that's one who have come on as reinforcements and they're currently mostly launching rockets into trees. But that's the problem when you don't have state education. Hello, boys. So, that's a couple of problems just nipped in the blood. Nipped nip in the blood? Well, that was, that was a Freudian slip. Uh, nipped in the bud. Yep, they're going to run off. Good. Okay, that's the artillery dealt with. And these handgunners are really tenacious. I mean, there's only six. They've got 532 health left. And they're still, they're still fighting. I think it's because Volkmar and Carla are here. Thankfully, the Hellblaster Volley. I mean, look, these guys are still... They're not shattered. They're just running away. There's only five of them left. 120 health. Yeah, bloody right. Are you missing an arm? Holy shit. I mean, that, that is a work ethic, isn't it? Christ, I worked from home the other day because I had a cold. This guy's he's got his arm missing. His arm fell off. He needs that. Well, it doesn't really. It's probably fine. Uh, so, the horse lords are coming back. We're moving our army to face the approaching Carl Horde. Although currently they're having, a, I guess it's like a, a meeting. Are they having a little meeting? It looks like the meeting's just broken up. Um, not quite sure what was discussed. I think maybe they're just having a little pep talk, like a little bit group hug. Just to, you know, build the energy in the room. And uh, then go and kill some undead. Well, not going to let that happen, are we? I mean, for one, the undead are already dead, so you, you can't kill them. So we're going to take a position in this forest. There's Agent 47 with his crew. 
Yep. That's that's good. You really do have just a torso. I mean, why? It's like you've taken the arms off. It's like you found a torso and gone, you know what, these arms, they're too long. And then just cut the arms off at the wrist and stuff them into the shoulders. What? I mean, I, I, I partly want to really know the reason behind that and also don't... Well, well, these guys are really happy, don't they? I mean, three of them do. This guy looks less so. But these three, they look like they're really... They, they look like they're loving life on, on life. Having a whale of a time there. Agent 47... He's got a bell. Does that not get annoying? No? Okay, well, just, just checking out how he's doing. So, uh, mostly because we're killing time, because Carl's army is uh, taking taking its time. Slowly getting into position. Okay, well, our Vargeists have returned. So our army's all together. Now, I think the key here is trying to keep our army together. If we get split up, we'll get cut. Just each little bit will get cut off. And we won't be... Staying together, we can get healed by the Mortis engine, by Kemmler, by Agent 47. We can get buffed up. We can get the... the, the um, ne ne was it? The thing right of ne Nekakara? Nekakara? Whatever that one is. The Healy spell. We get the Healy spell. All that kind of good stuff. So, need to keep our army together. That's the key to victory. Isn't it? Yeah. See? 100% behind the plan. The plan is foolproof. Now, one of the reasons we've, we've come back here is not just because we're facing Carl, but also because we've got this little... Now, I suspect the Reichsguard will come charging into the forest, realise we're here, and then try and flank us. Now, this stone here gives us some opportunity because it means that we can sort of try and blunt them. And with our fast moving and obviously flying Vargeists, we should be able to flank around behind them, use the Gloom Horse Lords to hit them in the front, and then flank around, smash them in the back, and hopefully break those units of Reichsguard. That's going to be key. Come on, Carl, hurry up. Good grief. I don't know. I mean, they're all walking because I think they were they were tired from running after no running after the Vargeists. Carl, of course, being the massive tit that he is, decides that he's not going to wait for the rest of his army. He's going to charge through the forest alone. But the forest is dark and full of terrors, Carl. You just run into a tree, you knob. Now you're staring at a tree. Are you incensed it got in your way? Despite the fact it's a fucking tree, you prat. God, I hate that guy so much. So, we've taken up position here. We've got the spears defending our flanks. So, we're just trying to, trying to draw a little bit of a, a defensive box here. To try and keep those Reichsguard off us. If the Reichsguard get into our flank, they get into our, um, to our rear then they could cause a lot of damage. And also, they have a tendency to charge and then run away. And I really hate that. Talking of things I really hate, here comes Carl. He always decided to leave his army behind and uh, solo charge. I think, he's, I think he's spotted the Mortis engine. I think that's all he can see at the moment. So he's just solo charging the Mortis engine. Or what he thinks is just the Mortis engine. Probably thinks he can get some quick glory here. He's going to be very, very wrong. Dead wrong. Because we're going to kill him. Now the fact that... I mean, I don't often see enemy heroes like charge ahead of the main force. So, this is unusual. But incredibly useful. Because as Carl decides to come and charge us, obviously we can, we can summon Krell. Ow. Oh, Krell. So we're going to back Krell up with some spearmen. Krell's going to get some good hits in there. Nice. Like that a lot. And um, we've got Chilfroy's incoming as well. Oh, there he is. And we're both just, we're just going to start wailing away on Carl. There's not much Carl can do. Come on, guys. Get in here. There we go. You're knocking Skellington. I don't care about Skellingtons. Just kill Carl. However, reinforcements are on their way as the Reichsguard charge into the forest. However, they're obviously coming to the forest. That's not going to get... Ooh, Krell, you're right, buddy. You're on the floor a little bit there. You're fine. You're fine. So, some Reichsguard have moved up to assist Carl and yet yeah, more Reichsguard now charging into the forest. See, they're trying to get around us. 
They can see our spearmen and they don't want to charge directly into them. Uh, there is a empty captain. So trying to get around, but we do have the Vargeists on the left flank here, as well as the Khan race. Now the Khan race can be quite useful. So what we're going to do, the Empire Knight is going to come charging into our spearmen for some reason. I'm fine with that. The Khan race then going to engage. The Vargeists come in around behind, lock them in place, and we can wipe them out. The archers are standing back and opening fire. There's not much we can do about that at the moment. We just need to deal with their infantry first. Carl has run away. I knew he would. Coward. He's coming back. And we've got Reichsguard trying to flank around. There's Gloom Horse Lords fighting Reichsguard over there. There's Reichsguard over there. Carl's coming in for another go. He's coming in for... He looks like he's coming in for Krell. Krell takes a tumble. All right, buddy? He's okay. He looms out of the darkness there. Oh, come on. Come on, Krell. You got this. Take out Carl. Get Carl. Kill Carl, save the world. Or doom the world. Either way. And he's down. And nice little wind of death. This is going to be pretty sweet. Oh, yes. Just left a huge trench in their line. And most of the Empire right flank collapses immediately. The Mortis engine charging forward. We've still got a little blob here, but they're now completely surrounded. That skeletons move up. Behind our line, the Gloom Horse Lords have managed to chase off one unit of Reichsguard, now moving in to help the uh, the Knights of Hell. There we go. So far, so good. And the Vargeists have flown over the units now taking out those missile units. Phone over the main line, taking out those missile units, chomping down on them, taking those out is important. And it looks like the infantry have broken. The right, the Empire left flank, sorry, has completely shattered and are running for the hills. We don't want them to come back, so our cavalry is going to go and chase them down. However, the battle isn't quite over yet. As we chase their infantry down, there's still units fighting in the forest. But uh, there's a huge number of bodies now. Got some, still some halberdiers fighting over here. But it's it's just very isolated pockets of Imperial troops still still fighting on. There's Volkmar as well. Volkmar still fighting. Krell just cutting his way through through these Imperial heroes. Dealt with dealt with Karl, now Volkmar. So you can be flung as the last of the Reich's guard breaking and running. And we have beaten Karl and Volkmar. There's blood spewing out of the air there, but that's probably fine. That's probably normal. I mean, we are... We are the undead, and huge piles of of corpses just littering the ground there. What a fight. That was quite stressful, actually. God, that was stressful. That was very stressful, that was. Bloody hell. Don't usually have to work that hard. Usually half arse it. Uh, we got a Scarecrow banner, of course, the worst of the banners. Complete garbage, but never mind. Um, I... I'm going to take the Replenishment, because I think I might need it. I think the Replenishment could could come in useful. Hmm. Hmm. Definitely think we're going to do that. Heinrich Kemmel has got Reich's Hammer, because, of course, Carl died. Screw you, Carl. Screw you. Go on then. Speak your words. Hi, Dertho. Uh, do you want to be friends? Oh.
apparently you want to join my war against Paravon, which is weird, but all right. Sure. We've got uh, the Sternsman and Verex Reavers. Very nice. That was a... God, what a fight. Heinrich got level 23. Chilfoy got level 16. God, that was... I actually had to think that one. It hurt. United we stand. Oh, mighty lord. Yep. That's me. The have surely selected you for greatness. I always thought Thanks so. Thanks to my guidance. Well, tremendous power I mean, alone. you say, go on, back in your box. Back in your box, you creepy old man. Uh, so we complete that. Scarecrow Banner, Age of Discovery. So uh, all major port owners have become known to each other via diplomacy. And the needs of the living are irrelevant. Even the vampires still require cattle to feed, but not the Lich Master. There are already enough dead in the world and it is time for the world's greatest necromancer to harness that power. All shall bow before Heinrich Kemmler. All shall serve in his undying empire. And we got a black cat, so that's nice as well. Let us make okay, Kemmler. That was quite a battle. It's good stuff. Good stuff. Um, I'm tempted to get... Screw it. Unliving host. I want my I want my, I want super skeletons. I want super strong skeletons. Because that's going to be great. Um, why did we not have the garrison? In that battle, was it because there was no garrison? Seems a bit weird. Never mind. No major issue. We won it anyway. Uh, let's get Deadly Onslaught for uh, Chilfroy. And Agent 47 is going to have... I like Wind of Death. Only problem is, there's no point two casters having it, because... I mean, you're never going to have the Winds of Magic to cast two of them back to back, so the cooldown isn't really the problem. It's the fact that it will just burn through all your Winds of Magic. And... We do have three blood smooches. I know people were, were work. They, they wanted the Strigoi boys. So let's go for Strigoi boys. We're going to awaken a Strigoi. I really wish that did something. Because it doesn't. And it feels like it should. Uh, so we've got Burrand and Skullen. Poison attacks. What is he? Strong. He's robust. Powerful. Ooh. I, think I, I kind of want to keep Father Jack though, just because I feel like Father Jack is becoming a bit of a bit of a thing, and I quite like that. Let's make him Thrallmaster so he can. Can you raise up like super strong Skellingtons, or is it recruit them? You can recruit rank six Skellingtons. I mean, that's not bad, is it? That's not bad. We've got a lot of money thanks to uh, completing the chapter. So let's get a shady township there. Uh, someone said about getting the sinister cops where there's wood sheds. That it's not necessarily a bad idea. I mean, the thing is, the recruit. I mean, it's the recruit grant's nice, but it's not. I mean, Vargais do so much damage. You don't need to really worry about their rank because they are going to rank up pretty bloody quick anyway. I mean, the upkeep's really nice. Upkeep reduction's good. So let's get that, because I would like the upkeep reduction. Uh, Marineburg, I would like defences. There's also salt. Which, you know what, we could sell, couldn't we? We could sell some salt to uh, to old Noctilus. He'd love a bit of salt, I'm sure. A bit more cash? I mean, it's not, like, huge, but... Sure, why not? Why the hell not? Right, Barry White, you are going to have a deadly blade. 
And do I? No, you can't. Yeah, you just come over here. I'm just gonna. We're gonna hit Karaberg, burn it to the ground, keep Carl on his toes. Do we want to chase down his army? I'm thinking yes. That's it. You run for it, mate. You run for it. Yes. Um. Let's just quick save it. Oh. Oh. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I'll take that. I'll take that. Um. Let's take more punishment because Kemler's army has been been through a lot recently. Can we just get back to Montfort? Do I want to do that? Am I in my own territory? I'm not quite in my own territory. If I do that, I am. I could do that, then I could hit Helmgart next turn. And if I hit Helmgart, it'll stop the supply of fucking Reichsguard. Who, as you may know, I don't like very much. Okay, so we've ranked up our skeletons. So I'm, I'm, how much do they get per rank? That's what I want to know. So what do they get? Uh, 51. It's up to 53. So they get two attack and defense per level. So these guys would have 57 melee defense. Holy shit. That's amazing. I mean, I've never really considered skeletons as like crack troops, but... I mean, 37.45, that's not bad. These guys have got 70 armor. I reckon they could stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with Sarus. I mean, not for very long, but they could. They'd last. Oh, it's very exciting. Very exciting indeed. Okay, let's get the witch house here, I think. I think that's because Bastogne is very much in the center of quite a few of these provinces. So getting that is going to boost up a vampiric corruption in all surrounding regions. That's going to help. I mean... Our oh, vampire corruption is definitely going in the right direction. So that's really good. Uh, we destroyed this place down here, didn't we? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Let's come back to Aquitaine. Uh, Father Jack, you come over here. I know we're sort of scooching you around, but... But that's fine. Uh, I would like... You know what? I might take Stuart over here to the corpse pile and he can pick out something nice. You know? Something for the weekend, maybe? A little, little something for the weekend. That'd be quite nice. Oh, I could actually give you some... Find me grave power. Oh, you know what? I might get rid of these. Ready. And I might get the Varex Reavers. I might do that. I mean, the Chillgeist would be nice. That's two levels. And the Claw of Nagash. I mean, our Mortis engine, Dad's rad disco cart. I mean, yes. It doesn't quite have the gravitas of the Claw of Nagash. But it is the party cart. So, you know, what? what's better? Something, you know, Claw of Nagash sounds very dark, foreboding. Or Dad's rad disco cart. It's up for you to decide, really. Do you, need fresh troops? Y you know what, number six? I've kind of kind of got enough fresh troops. That's all good. We are, we're going to hit Helmgart. I might, you know what, I'm feeling quite brave. I might even go for Altdorf. I'm feeling a bit frisky, you know? Now. I might go for it. It's brave, but uh, maybe we're being, maybe we're being Stuart over. We do have Bernard. But Burn is very much my, you know, support character. He's not really... He's there to do a little bit of stuff. If he gets horribly murdered, it's not going to make... I'm not going to lose any sleep over that. That's not a problem, but... Stuart. Stuart's a lad. So we need to keep Stuart safe. We need to burn Helmgart to the ground because fuck Reichsgard. Poncy shiny bastards. Oh, the Dreadfleet's coming to help me with the Empire. That's nice. That means he'll like me even more. 
It's like he's taking a stillia. Hello, you want to try? Oh yeah, sure. Are we gonna have a trade agreement? Praise be to the Raven God. Yeah. Yep. Praise that guy. Well, there's lots of wars going on. Uh, Gora Madney have gone to war with the Vampire Counts and the Von Karsteins and Clan Rictus and Karen Carr. When you can't pick your target, why not pick them all? Uh, foolish Vainglory. We'll see who the fool is. Right of Intrigue. What does that do? Diplomatic relations with the Empire Promises of the Kids. Well, that's not really going to help. Vampire Corruption is spread through the region. Well, I yeah, don't really care about that. Uh, plus 30 with Vampire Counts. Meh. Income from Trade. Meh. Campaign. Meh. meh. Just meh. The whole lot of that. Meh to that all. Right. Helmgarts. I am in you. Do I want to capture this? You know what? Yeah, sure. This I'm gonna I'm gonna take Helmgart. I'm gonna take Helmgart. We'll knock that down because we don't want it. Let's build a bale fire to start spreading vampiric corruption here. Although I suspect that might be tricky because they've probably got uh do they have Oh, bugger me, I don't think they do, actually. I thought they'd have, like, a s Temple of Sigmar here, but nope, nothing. Not a sausage. Hit that, take the cash. Thanks very much. So kind. So very kind. We're off. Go back there, replenish. You've ranked up. Let's give you... Uh, if you have both of these, that means every time you cast a spell, you're going to regenerate quite a chunk of magic. Let's get what... I think Wild Heart is slightly better. I don't quite know what the numbers on this are, but it's improved... To, so it in, increases your power reserves. This is just improves your power recharge rate. So power recharge rate is the amount of Winds of Magic you get, you pull from the pool into your usable Winds of Magic. Whereas your power reserve is the total pool. So the power reserve is what you have total winds of magic across the entire battle. And your total usable winds of magic, it goes up to 30. But you can have a lot more power reserves. But the less power reserves you have, the longer it takes to recharge your, your winds of magic that you can actually use. So this increases the recharge rate, which increases the amount of winds of magic you're getting per, per second. And it also increases the reserves. So if you've used 20 Winds of Magic and dropped your reserve from, say, 100 down to 80, then this will actually increase your power reserve so you have more Winds of Magic to draw on. So it's uh, it's quite nice to have. So we'll grab that one right off the bat. Chilfroy. We're going to give you Woundmaker, I think. Let's give you Woundmaker. Yep. Uh, number six. I would like... Can we start assassinating some people? we got a 31% chance. It's not great, is it? What about you? 23. That's even worse. Okay, number six. Come on. I should hope not. How? What? Ah, oh, agent number six. What? Look at that. Look at him go. Oh, knocking out of the park. Fantastic. Good job, you. Right, we're going to bring you over here so we can see what's going on. No more armies. What are you doing? I bet you're trying to... Rec You've got a very bushy beard. That is a... That's a big bushy beard. Casting engineer Knud Or. Knud Or. Okay, so I reckon you're probably going to start trying to recruit something like... I don't know, Reichsguard. Well, good luck with that because you can't do it anymore, can you? Yes, you can. Well, checkmate, Kunud Or. Checkmate. Oh, Paravorn's over there. Yeah. Yeah, we should probably do something about that. Okay, Stuart, I did want to take you to the, the corpse pile, but I think you're needed over... What are you doing just walking around? You're just taking little... God, you've got ants in your pants, haven't you? Going for a little wander. Stay there. You 
creepy man. Okay, let's bring you over here just in case they decide to attack uh, Montfort. Probably should have checked that, but... What am I? Some sort of competent total war player? I laugh at that. That suggestion is just ridiculous. You know what? I could get Father Jack to actually come and get some units here, couldn't I? And then ferry them back. Yeah, you need to be a little bit... F uh, well, yeah, all right. Let's, let's get you a little bit further. If I bring you over here... Uh, there's some things popping up at sea, which I would like to go and grab if we could. But I'm kind of busy at the moment, so... So probably not right now. Oh, we can upgrade... Okay, let's upgrade to the Accursed City here. And then... We can get the Castle Drakenfels Library, and then we'll rename this to Castle Drakenfels, because, you know, it probably should be. Okay, technology. Technology. Blasphemous Disciples? I mean, I do like the Mortis engine. We're kind of getting to the point where the Forbidden Libraries and Necromancer Towers will come into play, so I'm wondering if maybe going this way. I think we'll do that. I think we'll do that. Because getting some of those, they give them... I think they... Am I right in thinking they give quite a lot of income? 350, 350, 500, 500. Yeah, so both of them together are 1,000 for each capital. Which is... It's actually quite a lot of money considering the vampire economy is a bit naff. The rot. Uh, do we want to upgrade you? I mean, you're quite undefended. But yeah, we'll go for you. Oh, there's a mysterious island here. Yes. Stuart, you might be able to grab that. Well, I reckon we could send Stuart to grab that. Now, I don't... I don't know if I want to... Alt Dorf will have heavy defences. So I don't know if I want to go for it. Especially if they start recruiting more sodding Reichsguard. Ah, good. Norska and the Vanna Heimlings have confederated. If I can get Norska on side... If I can get Norska on side, that's... Could protect my northern border. Hello. Hello. A non aggression. Yes, absolutely. We can, we can get in on that. Get in on that. No problem. Yeah, Paravon is recruiting units. I wonder if I can get Durthu to come and help. I wonder if we could do that. Uh, so there's actually a fair few piles of bodies out here. Uh, let's get corpse pile. I will not obey. What are you recruiting? Let's damage your walls. Success. Nice work. Not likely. Yep, right, Scarred. What a massive fucking surprise. Okay, you've got a lot of great... Yeah, now, the problem there is... Let us make as much as I love my Vargeists, they're not going to do great against... Great Swords. Not by themselves, anyway. With support... They should do okay, but... I'm tempted to get Evil Souls, because I... I do like my uh, Gloom Horse Lords. They've got 29 melee attack. We could give them another 8. I mean, it's not huge, but then we could give them Vargolf. Uh, hex race, another twelve percent weapon strength, another char uh, twelve charge bonus. I 
I mean, that backed up with their physical resistance is pretty good, I think. So I'm tempted to do that. That's, I, th I think I might get rid of the, the Black Knights in my army. So maybe I want to go Evil Sold. And then I should probably buff up Krell, shouldn't I? Let's get Black Axe. That's going to give him uh, more charge bonus and melee attack. It doesn't feel like a huge buff for him, though. It doesn't feel big. You dare deliver it unto me. Yes. Going. Quite. Ready. Quite. Uh, I could get the... F um. Alright. You, you, you guys merge. Let's get the Dire Pack and... Can we merge all you guys as well? What do you want? Let's get rid of you. Oh, no. Oh yeah. Okay, let's get rid of you. My will alone. Let's get you guys. Okay, we've got some units. Go after that. What is it? Anything good? Uh, let's... Mushroom Stew. So we've got some total dot magic and physical resistance plus 25% for the entire army. Which is a shame the army's so shit, but... I mean, I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth there. We've actually got a lot of bodies down here, so I'm wondering if actually, if we bring Stuart, not Stuart, Bernard, if we bring Bernard down here, we can pick up some more units and then head over to Altdorf. By that point, they might have two armies in there, but what are you going to do? At least we can knock their walls down. Uh, Stuart, we're going to bring... Do I want to lay siege to Paravon? Can we recruit anything here? Let's just get some more skeletons, I guess, and go for it. Go for it. What I want to do here is just burn Paravon down, I think. I don't want it. Don't want it. Don't need it. Happy to let someone else take it. Hopefully, Noctilus. Although Noctilus is currently buggered off, so... Yes. Would you mind coming over here? Just a thought. If you wouldn't mind, that would be grand. Just be great. Uh, this is going down a little bit. Provincial instability is dropping. Yeah, be fine. It'll be fine. They will serve. I know they will. Move. What can we get here? I mean, a lot, basically, because it's a big old, big old pile of bodies. We could get some Vargeists. I don't know. The Graveguard don't really feel worth it for the cost. They don't really feel worth it for the cost, in my opinion. Um, so... Let's get that for the moment. Let's do that. Okay, we're going to bring... We're going to bring Bernard down. And Kemler's going to move up. We're going to deal with Paravon. And we're going to see if we can take Altdorf. If we can take Altdorf, we will have really chewed the heart out of the Empire. And they'll have nothing left to throw at us. I'm surprised by how much the Vampirates are doing, actually. I didn't think they'd be quite so... Aggressive. Okay, Norsk are declaring war on everyone, including the Empire. Which means all of our mean actions against the Empire are going to start to rack up. And hopefully we can get like make a trade deal with them. That would be good, wouldn't it? Hello, Cassian. Peace treaty. No. No, no peace treaty. No peace treaty. Not this time, buddy. 
Okay, doors are confederated. Uh, the Dreadfleet is coming to assist. No. We want. Do I want to take Ilhart along the way? There's actually quite a lot of vampiric corruption here, so that's actually pretty good. I'm wondering if we do. You still got that for nine? To, you know what? I'm, I'm going to do that. Let's grab Eelheart. That is going to knock us down for a couple of turns. We've still got plenty of time, and that's going to give us the. Because if, if we come out of here, character still nine. Mm, it's not bad, but I think when we come out of the region, it's going to. If, if we can just stay here for a couple of turns, beef up that public order, then it will be fine when we leave, because we're probably going to have to siege Altdor for a little while. On the other hand. Sigma forbids this. Ugh. Just keep damaging them walls, that's what I think. Uh, let's make you a specialist, make that cheaper. What are the walls like? They're currently at 66%. 66%. Okay. So we're coming to the end of the episode. So next time we're going to be moving on Altdorf. I might be being a little bit too defensive here. It might be giving them time to build up. I will not obey. But... I don't know. Maybe, maybe I've been lollygagging too much. Maybe I, need to, maybe I need to just take the bull by the horns and just go for it. But that's not going to happen. And we're laying siege to Paravon. And it looks like Paravon aren't going to come out and play. It looks like they are well and truly stuffed. Good. So that's all the time we've got for this episode. So thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time.